it's Bemi. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own custom skin for Rain Meter. I was trying to figure out how to make my own, like a really simple one, and I couldn't find one. Well, I found one on Rain Meter manual, but it was for Windows 7, so I'm going to make an updated version of one so that you guys can do it too. Alright, so first you need to do is go into File Explorer. Go into Documents and Rain Meter. That's where mine is. You can search Rain Meter if yours is not in your documents. Goes into Skin and just make your own folder, a new one. New folder. And we'll just name it Custom skin right and now uh where'd it go oh there it is okay so what you want to do is go into control panel you just right click on your windows icon and press control panel go into appearance and personalization click file explorer options a window should pop up go into view the next tab and just uncheck hide extensions for known file types press apply ok now X out of the control panel go back to your file explorer and now you will see make new a new text document in your um, new file file you just made folder and now you can see the file type what we want to do is just delete all of it and just call it custom skin dot ini that's the file type we need to do enter yes and now we have a little startup you need something to edit your stuff with and we're going to use notepad which your sh computer should have type in notepad all right so now just check everything is in here we'll access out refresh go back into file explorer documents rain meter skins custom skin all right it's all in there that's good now we're going to go into notepad, file, open, we're going to find custom skin, the one we just made, press all files, there you go, custom skin I and I, that's it, open, and now we're going to start the coding, first thing we need to do is rain meter, say rain meter now we need to press enter and do update equals 1000 I'm just reading from the website right now the update option is um, what sets the length of the skin's update cycle so the length is given in milliseconds or one one hundredths of a second so update equals one thousand means that the skin will update once per second next enter enter again my meter meter is option required to tell rain meter that this section is in fact a meter all meters have this option the value of the option determines what type of meter it is. The text option, on the other hand, is unique to the string meter. As you might have guessed, this is where you provide a string of text for rain meter to display. So you'll just put my meter, enter, go to meter, type meter equals string. text equals we're just gonna say hello world 
Hello. World. Okay. And now what you're gonna do is just enter and believe it or not, that is all. And just save it. So what you wanna do is just save, sit out. And see, this is one of my, I just downloaded this, I didn't make it, but it's one of Rain Meter skins. So I'm just gonna refresh. Refresh off. All right, now I'm going to file exp actually, no. I'm just gonna go into Rain Meter right here. And you choose skins. And you can go into the one we just made, custom skins. And do you see it? It should be right here. And so that's a skin. And if you wanna make it it's kind of small and hard to see, so we're going to edit it. So let's just go back into Notepad. File. Open. We're going to go back into Custom Skin. Alrighty. Now we're going to just start off differently. Or no, just continue from this. Enter anti alias equals one anti alias is a general meter option that smooths out the edges of a meter so enter font color just equals two five five comma two five five just three of them it's a color option that changes the color of the text in this meter so Oh, let me fix the O. There we go. Alright. Next is the font face. An option that changes the font used for this meter. So, we're going to do font face equals seg -fo UI. Alright, let's do that one. And the font size is just the size of the font. So make it a little bit bigger. All right, so enter, file, save, just save that, and exit out. All right, now we're gonna refresh. Refresh all, and you see, let me move this, it's bigger, different color looks much smoother and nicer so yep you just got a skin thanks for watching this i hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful to you bye